Hi, it's Dana here from the Alleyway Stamps Design Team. And today I have a little video that shows you how to open and cut your um, Alleyway Stamps SVGs. So I'm using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. It's the uh, third version, um, which is the latest to date. Um, so to get started, you click on File and click Open. And a new window appears, and here you can go find your SVG files. Uh, mine are in this folder here, and of course it doesn't show anything, and that's because it's looking for the Studio 3 files. But all I need to do is click the down arrow and find an SVG, and my files will now appear. As you can see I have Hey Cupcake and Bugging Out. So I'm going to start with Hey Cupcake and hit OK. And it opens the file, and you can see the different images for the stamp set. And of course, you can click on each one and move them around as you need to. But to make sure that they cut, you first want to highlight um, all the images or just the one that you want to cut. And you want to right click and group them. And then you're going to come up to the very top right, um, this cut settings. And it's going to open this window. And as you can see under this cut style menu, you have no cut, cut edge, cut, and along with a couple other options. So you want to, with your SVG selected, which you can tell by the different um, the boxes and lines that are surrounding my SVG, so I know it's activated, you want to hit cut edge, and once it does it, it makes the red lines that much more darker. And that's basically telling um, silhouette these are the lines we want to cut. So now we've told them we can actually go and send it to our SVG which of course I need to now go and plug it in so I can cut it which I will do in a second. But first I wanted to show you um, another option um, you can do with some of our SVGs. So I'm going to go to open and um, again I'm going to change the file to an SVG and this time I'm going to choose bugging out and I'm going to hit OK and it's going to bring up a new window and I have my bugging out SVGs. So I'm going to move these other ones away because I'm going to just concentrate on this jar. There's a couple options that you can do with this jar. So as you can see we have our jar image around the outside along with an interior cut line here. So with our image selected, which you can tell by these uh, boxes and lines, I'm going to go over to the cut settings window again and click on it. And of course I have my no cut, cut edge, and cut and other options here. If I hit my cut edge, it's only going to uh, make the outer line dark red and those are that's the line that is actually going to cut. So if I wanted just a full jar, I can just cut it like it is. Or I can hit this cut option here and as you can see both lines, the outside and the interior, have become darker. And this is actually going to cut both the outside plus the inside. So once I cut it, I will actually have um, this piece in the middle will be able to I can remove it. So I would then of course go to send it to my silhouette which I need to plug in and actually cut. So I'm going to go get it cut and show you what it looks like. Okay so I went ahead and cut um, a couple different shapes, um, the jar and then two images from my Hey Cupcake. And as you can see, um, or at least kind of see, um, this one has the cut on the inside and then this one doesn't. I'm just going to take it off the mat so you can kind of see it a lot easier. Just unstick it. And so now you can see that the inside cut out of this jar. And then this one is a full jar. And then I have my couple images from Hey Cupcake. So this jar is the one that we used um, the cut edge and it just cuts um, the outer edge of the shape. And then this one is the one that you used the cut edge for the outer and then used just cut to include the inside cut here that comes out. 
Um, and like I said, there's only a few um, different sets so far that uh, have like an inside cut. So it's really up to you whether you want to have um, this kind of a shape or the actual full shape. So I thought I would um, stamp these really quick for you just so you can kind of see what they look like. So first I'm going to do, um, this is uh, Buggin' Out. And I'm just going to take this jar, put it on block. Now with this jar, um, it's really easy to like really manipulate this jar so you could actually make some uh, funky looking jars. So just be aware um, when you actually lay this down that you want to kind of just let it fall naturally um, to get the normal shape or the um, outlines would be a little different if uh, you happen to move some of these sides. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna ink it up. Just line it up. And then you can just gently pull it back like that. And of course, if I was on my actual craft mat, I'd be able to stamp that a lot easier than my kitchen table, which doesn't do a very good job of stamping. And then you can do the same thing on the cutout. And of course I'd do much better if I could look over the top of it, but I don't want to get into the camera's way. So just kind of see how I do. And there we go. Not too bad. So you can actually, you know, get a better stamped image when you can actually, uh, you know, at least for me, um, kind of look at it a lot easier um, on my craft table and kind of come in over the top of it. And then just uh, to show you kind of what the Hey Cupcake looks like, um, let's see, this is this one and this top. So this is the bottom piece that would fit right over there. Let's see if I can. I think I'm a little crooked. Oh, yeah, not too bad. And then the last is a little topper for our cupcake. Let's see, and also you can make sure that um, it fits to make sure you have it, you know, because you could potentially flip them, you know, over and it wouldn't work. So you can kind of see how they line up um, if you hold it over there to make sure that you have it um, on the right side and you didn't, like, flip it. All right, and there you go. So you can see they just kind of work like that, and you could do all sorts of things. So um, I hope that gives you kind of an idea of how our SVGs work and what you can kind of do with them.